Hey guys, Robert 3D Printscape. So I had somebody ask me to uh, put a QR code and a logo on a leather patch uh, that they're gonna put on a hat and on a backpack as well. Uh, so I figured I would go through kind of the process I went through and uh, some of the tests that I did to come up with the best um, option or I guess the results. I'm gonna zoom in on a couple of these patches. I have them at different speeds and at different power percentages. Uh, so there are some small differences between them. I didn't go outside of this range because I thought these results were pretty good. Um, really, if I went any higher on the power percentage, it would have been too deep uh, for the actual leather. Uh, so depending upon your speed, 20 or 25% is where you're going to end up being, but we'll talk about that a little bit more in a couple of minutes. And then also, uh, if you're doing QR codes that have a lot of data like these ones over here, uh, they're full contact cards. Um, so basically there's a lot more um, data or spots that it has to be engraved versus this, which is just a URL. Um, so you have to make sure that you're accounting for the size and that uh, you're able to actually scan it prior to doing any type of engraving. And there will still be some small differences afterwards. So like these, I was able to scan it on the screen. Um, so it, everything came up, but when I actually went to uh, test it after I did a couple test prints, they didn't work. Uh, this one was the smallest size I was able to get to work. Uh, so it really just depends on how much data is there and how close everything is together. So just keep that in mind, something to think about if you're working with the QR codes in general. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on the leather, uh, kind of talk about some of the differences. We'll jump over to the computer really quick so I can show you how to adjust the settings and make sure you have the right image type. But overall, this should be a pretty quick video. Uh, but if you're looking to do any type of leather engraving, I think it'll be beneficial uh, because it, the results were pretty good. And before we get started, if you guys haven't already, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help spread the video and get the channel to grow. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments or concerns, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks. All right, guys, so here are some test engravings that I did. Over here, we have uh, three of them at 5,000 millimeters a second. So this is at... 15%, uh, 20%, and 25% max power. This is 4,000 millimeters a second, down at 10, 15, and 20%. And then these were a couple just test engraves that I was doing to get the QR codes and everything working for the project that I was playing around with. It might be a little bit difficult to see, uh, but the depth and the actual color changes uh, the deeper that the engraving gets. Uh, so when you have more power, it's going to be a little bit darker on the engraving. Uh, so you got to find the right balance between speed and power to get what you're looking for. Um, I like the uh, 5,000 millimeters a second, need that 20 to 25 percent max power. It has really good detail and color. Um, if you're going to go down to 4,000 millimeters a second, I think the 20 percent might be okay, maybe a tad too much. I would probably go down to 15. Um, but I don't see the point in going down to 4,000 millimeters a second versus 5,000 uh, when the results are fine here and it'll save a little bit of time. Uh, I would think for most prints, I would go with about 5,000 millimeters a second and at 20% uh, max power, assuming you're using a 10 watt laser. So this is with a 10 watt laser. If you're using a different wattage, you'll want to do some more tests as well. But let me try to zoom in on this a little bit. Zoomed in is about as much as I can on this. Uh, the results are pretty good. Everything looks clean. There's a nice color on it. When working with these small patches though, the hardest part for me was A, getting alignment. As you can see, these test prints, I had them kind of all over the place. And B, uh, when you have QR codes with a lot of data, like these ones have full contact information in them, uh, the small ones don't pick up very well. So you have to get a little bit larger on them. This was the smallest size that I was able to get to actually be able to scan afterwards. And it was, I had to hold my phone pretty still. Uh, so the one I ended up giving to him was a little bit larger, I think about two or three millimeters larger. But if you're looking to do any type of engraving for something that you're gonna put on a hat or a backpack, these little leather um, patches are great. All right guys, so here at the computer, I have Lightburn open and I dropped my QR code in here. Uh, first thing I typically do is find out where I wanna place it. Uh, I start around 100 or 100 for smaller things so that when I do the frame, it's a little bit easier to guess where I'm gonna to have to end up putting the uh, material that I'm engraving, so in this case, the leather. And then I set the width and height. Um, so for the example, I did 60 wide and 40 high. 
So if you have it locked, it's gonna lock it at the same size, but I unlocked it. So 60 by 40. And then I move this to the 100 by 100 that I was just talking about. And then we'll go over and set our power and speed. So I'm using a 10 watt laser. So if you go over here under cuts and layers, uh, you have your speed and max power. So right now I have it set to uh, 5,000 millimeters a second with 20% max power. I would adjust that as needed. Uh, but I did like these settings here, so it's probably where I'll do most of my engraving for this type of leather. But you'll want to do a couple tests based on the leather that you're working with. So once you have your speed and power set, you can go over to the image, right click and go to preview. And make sure this is what you're expecting. So these pinkish spots here are going to be areas that it's moving but not actually engraving. The black spots are where it's engraving. And then you can see it kind of building up. If this is not what you're expecting, just go ahead and hit OK. And then go into Adjust Image and change the settings. Um, in this example, I'm using Threshold. You can reverse all of that and stuff too. But for a lot of what you'd be engraving, I think Threshold is probably going to be what you want. Um, I don't think it was Threshold by default. I think it was um, this one. Uh, but, and then I ended up switching it to Threshold. It just looked a little bit cleaner. You can see over in the example, um, like this seems a little bit more blurry and not as sharp around the edges, but with the QR codes, we need them to be sharp and crisp. Uh, so that's why I went with that one. And then you'll go over to frame. Uh, this basically just traces where it's going to be engraving on the leather. Uh, so it creates the frame that it's going to be using. You can run this a couple times and make sure that the leather placement's where you want it to actually be engraving. It is a little bit difficult. I almost wish I had a camera where you can see the exact placement. Um, but with this tier of engraving uh, software and uh, hardware, that's just not available. And then once you have it lined up good, uh, you can just go ahead and hit start. And then it's going to kick everything off just as a reminder. Uh, safety is critical here, uh, so make sure that you're using your safety glasses if you're anywhere near the laser just so you don't hurt your eyes. Alright guys, so for those of you who have any leather projects coming up, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, for me, I think around the 500 uh, millimeters a second and 20% power was the best results, at least for this type of leather. But depending upon the leather you're using, do a couple of test prints, so uh, make sure that you have uh, some extra pieces to work with. I don't think I would go much over 20 or 25 percent on engraving though. This is deep enough into the leather and um, it looks pretty good. If you go much beyond that, you're going to end up having uh, some cracking issues, I think, and uh, it's going to potentially cut through the leather in some points and reduce the durability. But again, it really depends on the leather you're using and what you're using it for. Uh, so make sure you do those test prints. If you have any questions about what I covered or like to see anything else, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.